Hello guys, I am Sean Khobishoy and today at Analytical Minds, I am going to have a detailed discussion about my life at my UG college, Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Medical Sciences, Durgapur. And trust me when I say this, I have a lot to share with you guys. So let's just not waste any more time and get started. First, I would like to share my experience on the very first day. When I woke up, I actually had very mixed feelings on the very first day. And the feelings were curiosity, excitement, nervousness, anxiety, everything. Because you're coming from your high school days and you're going to enter into a life which you have never experienced before. And it is going to serve as a gateway for your professional life as well. So, you know, it did take some time for me to adjust to the lifestyle there. And as days passed by, everything got settled. So I hope you will also experience something new in your life and it will be worth remembering. This college, Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Medical Sciences, Dukapur, is quite different from the other colleges in the state of West Bengal. Why I am saying this? This is because, first of all, it's a new college. It is an emerging college. and. It's also true that this college is developing at a very fast pace and the management is quite cooperative. So I am sure the college will make its mark in the upcoming future. The teaching faculty here is quite good. The teachers, that is the doctors are highly qualified and they are very eminent in their jobs. From the view point of the student, they are very friendly, caring easily reachable so you know you can reach out to them for any problem be it academic personal and some of the teachers also reside in the campus only so you can reach out to them at any point of the day so that's not at all a problem talking about the campus the campus is uh, very good and it is very close to the nature you will feel that when you stay here because there's a lot of greenery trees bushes everything you know you feel very close to nature. The area is vast where the campus is spread and uh, the field is also huge. There is the playing ground I'm talking about where you can enjoy outdoor sports such as uh, cricket, football, then volleyball, badminton, etc. You also have options for indoor sports such as uh, chess, carom, table tennis, etc. The demo rooms are non-air conditioned and the LTs are air conditioned. You have a canteen in the campus itself and also a multi cuisine restaurant along with the mess where you get your regular food. The laboratories are very good and they have an ample space, light and all the required equipments that you require for performing all your practicals. So the setup is uh, absolutely good. There's no problem with it. Talking about the patient load, Obviously, it's a new hospital, so it will take some time to reach that type of patient load which you get in a government hospital. So you will not get it now. But from the viewpoint of a new hospital, I would say it has very decent patient load. And I'm sure the numbers are going to increase in the upcoming future. The senior-junior relationship is something to talk about because it is phenomenal. It is very good. We have that bonding with our seniors. We have that bonding with our juniors as well. And we always care for the juniors, we have that respect for the seniors. So there is a very good relationship, I would say. The seniors are always there to help the juniors out in any kind of problems. At the same time, we do teach them things which they will require in the upcoming years. Now talking about the dress code, there is no such dress code in the college, but it is advised by the management to wear formals which I think is quite acceptable because this is obviously a college, not a park. So you have to maintain a bit of decency. So that's absolutely fine. Now let's talk about the hostel life, which all of you I'm sure are excited to listen to. In the hostel, we get three types of rooms. And uh, these are number one, three bedded non-AC, number two, three bedded AC and number three, two bedded AC. The only difference between the AC and non-AC rooms apart from the air conditioner is that 
in the AC rooms to get the geysers installed inside your rooms. And for the non-AC rooms, you have one common geyser in each floor from where you have to get your hot water during the winters or in the summers also if some of you require it. So that is the scenario here. And you also get a water filter in each floor from where you can get your drinking water. Talking about the rooms, you get modular beds which can be turned into tables as well. So they serve as bed come table. You get ample storage spaces in the forms of cupboards, shelves and uh, also you get one wardrobe with locker each and also just outside the room there is a shoe locker present where you can keep your shoes outside. Now let's talk about the mess food. The mess food I would say is very decent because I have friends from other colleges as well and I get to talk to them so I know their experience as well. From that point of view I am telling that the food is quite decent. Also we have a mess committee which comprises of members from the different batches. So if you have any problem regarding the food and all, you can complain to them and they will take care of it in no time. The menu is basically fixed. There is a, a fixed menu for Monday, a fixed menu for Tuesday, a fixed menu for Wednesday and so on. And the menu is changed after a few months. And also it may get changed anytime if the mess committee wants to change it. So if you have any problem, you can report it to them. Now I am sure by this time many of you are thinking about joining this college and uh, as it's a private college uh, I think I should provide you with the information of the on the fee structure so that it can help you out. Now in a private college as all of you know there are two types of seats. One is the state quota and another is the management quota and uh, the admission fee and the caution money which is refundable are same for both the quotas. The admission fee is Rs 50,000 for both state quota and management quota. The caution money refundable is 15,000 for both state quota and management quota. The thing which varies is the tuition fee per semester. The tuition fee per semester is 2,74,000 rupees for the state quota students and 10,94,000 rupees for the management quota students. Now you have to pay for a total of 9 semesters. You can pay in a lump sum amount at the time of admission or you can pay semester wise. The only difference is that if you pay semester wise, you have to provide a bank guarantee of the whole amount. Now why? I'll tell you. It is because suppose your post dated check gets bounced for some reason whatsoever the college will charge the fee from the fixed amount you have deposited in the, in the bank to get the bank guarantee that's the thing which goes here i'm sure you guys are excited to hear about the fest as well <laughs> because it's a, a time of the year when the medicos have a lot of fun so i'm going to tell you that also Sri Ramakrishna Institute of Medical Sciences is basically under the Sanaka Educational Trust group of institutions. It owns a number of institutions which offer different courses such as uh, B.Tech, B.Pharm, B.R. and then Paramedical, B.Sc. Nursing, J.N.M. Nursing to name a few. So what happens here is that we have a combined fest and it is named as Festino Beats. We have a lot of fun on the fest days and there are sports events, cultural events. We also have eminent artists coming to perform live. We have band performances. Everything is sorted on these days. And I'm sure you guys are gonna like it. The only thing is that uh, there is no separate fest for the medicos, but uh, I'm sure as years pass by and batches start passing out, there will be a fest for the medicos separately as well. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you guys are too. Now I would like to tell you guys about the location of the college and the means of transport available at your disposal. The college is obviously located a bit uh, distant from the uh, center of Durgapur, that is the city center Durgapur. And uh, you have a few options to reach out to our college. When you are traveling from different cities and all, you can take the uh, train 
to the railway station. There is a bus terminus where you can uh, come by a bus and also there is an airport. You can take a flight to the Durgapur airport as well. From these three options, you have to choose any one and after reaching there, you have to take either a taxi or an auto. The railway station and the bus terminus are located adjacent to each other. So that's a good thing. And when you're traveling from the college, you have bus services frequently and at regular basis. And the bus stop is located just in front of the gate of the campus. The auto stand is also located there. You can take an auto as well or take a taxi as you wish. So in spite of being a bit distant from the city center, there are means of transport available at your disposal and you can easily travel to wherever you want. Last but not the least, I know many of you are thinking of joining this college and trust me when I say this, it would be a great option for you guys. You just have to decide if you want to take up this profession and just to go for this college. We as seniors would be really happy to greet you guys and we would be there to help you out in any kind of problems that you face. Something from my side, MBBS is a professional course. When you enter into the course, you have to understand certain things. You are going to deal with people's lives very closely. And when you do that, you have to be a responsible person, a responsible doctor rather. And for being a responsible doctor, you have to know the basic things very well. So you have to learn by heart, by passion. And when you want to do that, you have to make a few sacrifices, which are going to benefit you in the long term. Thank you so much for watching the video. Stay tuned. Bye.